Hello guys, it's Jared Griffiths here and I'm going to and today I'm going to review the series Mr. Bean starring Rowan Atkinson as the title character. So Mr. Bean is about a TV show about this uh, very strange man named Mr. Bean who does very strange things like uh, <clears throat> like trying to get changed on the uh, beach and um, he like and there's a man watching them so he puts like his uh like trunks uh, over his trousers and then takes his trousers off through there uh that was very funny and um uh, does lots of silly things like that and um he has a teddy bear who um called teddy and uh, there was a funny episode where um he uh, enters teddy into a um into a pet race and that was just so funny and of course since Teddy's not alive he just controls him and makes him win all the time uh, and um, uh, yeah this is a really uh, funny you know, series I think I mean Rowan Atkinson is just a genius and uh, Mr. Bean doesn't talk that much and um, he has a voice like Ooh. <laughs> And he, he can be quite uh, childish as well, but um, really funny. I, the character is really childish, I mean. And uh, I like how in like a lot of the earlier episodes, he's just this really weird man who goes around doing really weird things. But then later on we get to see his house and... Um, we see like his girlfriend and he goes to like the cinema with his girlfriend to see a horror movie and uh, there's another where you see like his friends who he invited to a uh, to a, uh, a a new year's party uh, yeah and I uh, you know I like how you know, they expanded on that and there's very few episodes and it's become like a, like such an icon but like even then they had to like change it a bit like a few episodes of just being a weird man going around doing weird things you know would get old even in the few episodes there is but uh, the fact they uh, change it up and add in more like his friends and show his house and stuff and um, yeah so uh, if you buy like the uh, the DVDs the uh, volume the volume 4 has a it has like the very best of bits of it's the best bits of Mr. Bean, and it also has a documentary called The Story of Mr. Bean, which is uh, very uh, fascinating, and uh, we get to see um, like how Rowan Atkinson came up with the uh, you know, whole idea of Mr. Bean and stuff, you know, and uh, how he. He was inspired, and uh, the Mr. Bean character was very much inspired by the French character named uh, Monsieur Hulot, played by the French comedian Jacques Tati, who he plays him in all his films except for um, all the films he directed, except for uh, Jour de Fate and Parade. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's a very um, funny series. He does um, like like pretty horrible things like as well like he pretends when there's like a blind man um standing waiting for the bus because mr bean wants to be first in line to the bus so um that um if there's an if the bus is full like so so that, like by the time he gets there the bus isn't full so um he makes like the oh he makes the blind man like cross he pretends that like there's a bus there and the blind man thinks that um that the the bus is coming that like it's really quite mean and um, but it's so funny and he's quite childish you know <clears throat> and you know it's over 20 years old and i mean it's still so funny and yeah and uh, I like, I'm looking forward, I'm really looking forward to uh, Rowan Atkinson's uh, new uh, Johnny English film, the Johnny English Reborn, you know, I, I've reviewed both those films, I love the Johnny English films, I, you know, I think Rowan Atkinson is just such a uh, comedy genius, and, um, and you know, I love the Mr. Bean films as well, like, uh, being the ultimate disaster movie about him going to America and with the uh, painting 
and uh, the other one, Mr. Bean's Holiday, about him going to France, going to Cannes Film Festival, you know. Mm. But overall, yeah, uh, it's like something that like, uh, like a baby would laugh. Mr. Bean is something that like a baby would laugh at, but like an 80-year-old would laugh at. Like, you know, when you grow up, you know, you understand why Mr. Bean is doing these weird things, and you. Know, we probably do these really weird things if we weren't so self-conscious, if we weren't so embarrassed about looking silly. Whereas, like, a baby might not understand why he's doing it, but they'd still find it funny. You know, to, like, an adult, you know, somebody doing weird things for no reason, you know, isn't funny. You know, you're just like, why is he doing that? When you're older, it's funny because you understand why he is doing that. But if you're a baby, you don't understand why he's doing it. It's still funny, like. So yeah, this this show is you know great for all ages. Uh, please check out um, really funny stuff and watch the uh, movie as well. This this is a really uh, good movie, really the best one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's the painting there. So yeah, great great show. Highly recommend it. And bye. Oh, and also they made a uh, cartoon series of it, which went on for much longer than the uh, live-action series. That's pretty good as well. And it has an episode of the the uh, animated series on here as a bonus. But uh, yeah, check those out, and the movies, and bye.